Hello everybody, um, today we are going to talk about the RAO view for the right coronary artery. Um, last time we discussed the LAO view, so this is a continuation of, of the angiographic views for the right coronary artery. There are two basic views for the right coronary artery, LAO view and RAO view. And then you can put some angulation on the II or the image intensifier trying to open up the arteries or the branches of the right coronary artery. So with that, we come to this angiographic film, a senior loop on the left, where you can see the right coronary artery during an angiographic procedures, procedure. And if you look at this picture one here, we start with the exercise that we have been doing before. And that is to identify the view and then the coronary artery. So if you look at this blue line here, this indicates the catheter. Since it's not coming below the diaphragm, it's coming somewhere up from the top. So it's probably a radial axis for this coronary angiogram. And again, as we discussed in for the left system, if you look at that, look at the catheter, in this case, Judkin's right catheter, you see that the catheter is kind of retracted or folded on itself as compared to the last view of the right coronary artery, which is the LAO view, where you would have seen the catheter to be open like an L. So since it's a retracted, and we discussed that, so it's a RAO view for the coronary angiogram. Again, it's very easy to identify the right coronary artery because this is the only artery on the right side in most of the cases, unless there is an anomalous takeoff the LED or the left circumflex from the right cusp. So with that, we move on to the individual branches of the right coronary artery. The first branch in this case is the conus branch. And we talked about in the past, the concern was if you inject into that artery, you might put the patient into VFib. And that's probably because the right cone, the, the conus branch of the right coronary artery supplies the, L, the RVOT, right ventricular alpha tract, an area where, which is notorious for origination, originating of the arrhythmias. So this is the body of the right coronary artery. Now you are looking at the right coronary artery in a different plane. So if there was an eccentric lesion in the right coronary artery that could have been hiding from, from you while you're doing an LAO view, this is a nice view to look at that eccentric lesion. The RV marginal branch in this case is opened up nicely. So you can see that going somewhere around three o'clock position there can be one or two RV marginal branches depending on the circulation. Sometimes the RV marginal branches could be, uh, could be of significant size, but most of the time the RV marginal branches are smaller as, um, when compared to the PD and the PLV. What is more important here is the star here. If you see this view is a very nice view to look at the bifurcation of the right coronary artery into the PDA and the PLV. So if you see here in this picture uh, at the star, depending on how much angulation you have on the II or the image intensifier, you can open up this bifurcation and see if there is any osteal stenosis of the PLV or the PDA branch. This view is also very nice to look at the PDA branch. The PDA branch kind of running inferiorly, giving small branches that supply the septum. You can see all these branches nicely. And also the PLV or posterolateral ventricular branch is also laid out very nicely. So summarizing this, if, if the patient has any, any degree of stenosis in the distal branching vessel, the RA view is a very good view to appreciate that and also looking at the body of the right coronary artery 
although it will be foreshortened but you will still be able to look at the um, right coronary artery from a different angle so that you don't miss uh, an eccentric lesion this is very important uh, the reason for being for the right coronary artery is most of the time we will only be taking two views of the right coronary artery number one LAO view and in and number two is the RAO view so if you have if you only do an LAO view and you you say that everything looks fine there might be an eccentric lesion that you might be missing so you have to do two you have to do two orthogonal views it it is equally important for the left system but in the left system we know that we take one two three four mainly LAO caudal RAO caudal RAO cranial and LAO cranial view so even if you are trying to be conservative the patient's got some kidney dysfunction um, and you are you know conserving the dye you can only do two views uh, two caudal views and one cranial view so you still be looking at the at one coronary artery from two different angles but for the right coronary artery since there are only two views you know you you have to take both of these those views to make sure that you don't miss any eccentric lesion so this was all about the RAO view again if you want to look at the bifurcation and the distal PDA branches you can make move the II in picture 2 here you can move the II towards the cranial position so the cranial position will open up the branching vessels depending on the orientation of the heart and the patient's anatomy if you're not able to open up the bifurcation or you're not able to uh, lay out the coronary artery especially the PT and PLV you can put a little angulation on the II and it can be an RAO cranial view to look at the distal bifurcation bifurcating vessels and if you really want to look at the body of the right coronary artery and are not very concerned about the distal branches then you can move the II to a view called an RAO caudal view so for the body of the right coronary artery the caudal angulation is preferred and if you want to look at the the branching vessels their their ostium and the distal branching vessel you might add a little bit of cranial angulation last but not the least um, there is another variation of the views that the two views that we discussed about you can also do what we call like an AP cranial view sometimes you do have to do that especially if the heart is rotated so that could be a, another view that you can decide if you want to look at the coronary the right coronary artery more closely and if there are some branches that are there are overlapping or, or you're not able to see them clearly i hope this was helpful uh, with this concludes our coronary angiogram and all the views basic views that we have to cover we will move on to the quantification of the lesions of the coronary artery very important especially if you are writing a, a, a coronary angiogram report and once we are done with that we will go over some live cases i hope this was helpful um, have a have a good day